So I'm sharing with you the challenge of how to create a presence, a TV presence or a web presence. Uh, I used to do that very well for my retail facilities and we used uh, the internet, uh, we used the television stations. However, uh, there are two different ways you can set it up. And I'm going to do a training for you in a moment about uh, Google Plus. That's sort of the core of this training. And the way you get to Google Plus is you go to your normal Google uh, and then you either go to your Gmail. Instead of Gmail, you go here. If you haven't signed up, uh, the training is going to show you how to sign up. But once you sign up, your name will appear here and you click on it. And this is what Google Plus looks like. Uh, why am I showing it to you? It's a great tool for employee communications. And I have set up this system for presence on the web. Uh, to take advantage of all the features or most of the features of the hangout, of the uh, photos, the videos, so forth, storage capacity on Google+. If you're setting up a personal uh, presence, you would go and create something like a blog. Uh, perhaps something that looks like mine, a uh, lot of uh, things I like or don't like. This is one of the posts that basically is pivotal as far as I'm concerned. I posted it on February 16th and it says, is TV dying? I believe that TV is going away and if you're setting up your own TV presence, you literally are like owning your own television station. It might not sound very spectacular, but you don't have to pay for airing out commercials ever. And especially if you get your own kind of following whether it's your internal employees or your customers or your followers, uh, you can do that either on the blog or you can create what I call a TV show app. And here's a teaser of what it looks like. I'll come back to it in a minute. Um, we have outgrown TV, so we no longer need to be using the TV mechanism. However, we can use the format to uh, communicate with everyone. So for now, I'm not going to train on Google+. Plus. I'm going to show you how I arrived at using Google+, Plus uh, properly. And uh, I use pretty much Google+, Plus to create these interviews that I'm going to show you. This is, I'm, of course, a creator of TV Show How. This is TV Show How. You click on the Home button, and it takes you home. And once you come here, pretend that you just hired a new hire. Hi, everybody. I'm Ed from TV Show How. I'm going to pause. All of what you see here was designed and, and published using the Google Plus platform. But let's say you have a new hire and you want to tell them about advertising policy or about things that HR wants to say, or if you have a customer. Uh, these categories are all editable by you. Uh, you have a customer who wants to get brochures. Uh, you have, uh, let's say, you have a new trainee in the sales department. He's a clerk at one of your retail facilities, and you would like to have him have your best sales manager train him firsthand, but your best sales manager is somewhere out in the field. So you put him here in front of this, and of course you go you can go back to home. It's usually under the first page. We can design it anywhere. It can be right on top. You click on sales training. It takes you there, and then you click here, and you're going to see the awesome Roger Roper. right attitude and the right frame of mind. I look forward to talking to that customer. I know that you were a little bit newer to sales or the sales process. Uh, don't hold back. If this is just a friend you haven't met yet, there's no lions that are going to jump out and eat you up. No tigers are going to scare you to death. You know, the worst thing that's going to happen to you in this job is somebody might say no. Somebody might say no, I'm not interested today. There's nothing to fear. So instead of you sitting and saying, okay, this is how you work the front counter, you would get your best person who works the front counter to do the training and once it's here and that person has permission to see it, uh, it's automatically there forever. And uh, this is my friend in Australia that I had interviewed for an episode on Google. How you control access, uh, if a person is a customer, you may only want them to see brochures and this would be a level one access. If he's a technician, you may want him to see the trainings of how to install or how to service a customer or how to enter a house or when he enters a house if you have if you have uh, employees that go into customers house what's the proper etiquette uh, that would be under this level should you take your shoes off if you're working on cars should you take your belt off so you don't scratch the paint 
that would all be under these levels of training. And of course, level three would be the managers of the store where you tell them about what advertising special may be coming on or what uh, inventory issues you may have or depending on what your organization uh, restrictions, you'll put it here. This may be for the vice presidents. You may give them reports and so forth for finance. And of course, this uh, you can have more than five, but here I've set up five uh, samples. When a person is allowed into a plan, he's allowed into everything below that plan. So the customer can see the brochures and the advertising and, and in press releases. The employee can see the training. The managers can see advertising. Uh, of course, you designate that. So this is how I've set it up. Again, I use Google Plus to make all of this uh, happen. And then uh, one tiny bit that I wanted to catch on. Uh, to, to contact us, I would highly recommend if you're watching this training, please go to TV Show How, click on the contact us. I have a present that I want to send to you after the training, and I promise to send you a complete recording. If you have a Facebook account, you could register with your Facebook account. It does require that you confirm the subscription. I created this just this morning before the training, so it may still have some glitches, but I think it's working correctly. I tested it. Um, if you have multitudes of departments that you want to communicate with, you can create a station for each department. So a person in, uh, in, in retail may not need to see what the wholesale department do, or the advertising, or the sales, or the HR, or uh, public relations. They all can have their own complete television station. So this is a, uh, a sample of what one might look like. I train people how to start I'm businesses. I'm going to give you the nudge. With this particular station. It looks and feels the same as the TV show house station, but you'll notice here we've added things like how to fill out a spreadsheet for the SBA and so forth. These are the kind of things that you don't uh, need if you're running a different kind of business or if you're in a different division. Okay? So this is the TV show how concept. That's what I do, but mainly, like I said, I wanted to show you how we use uh, Google. And then, of course, up here, up top, I have a slider going, and this slider will uh, constantly bring other episodes that that person is entitled to see. So back to the training with Google+. Plus. Here it goes.